The month of August is already hot and the games releasing this month are really turning up the heat. Okay, that was stupid. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dusty, one half of Our Idiot Gaming. The first game on our list is Frogun. Frogun is an old school platformer that gamers that are new and old can enjoy. In Frogun, your frog shaped grappling hook will help you traverse through these platforming courses, creating a nice twist on the platforming genre. In this game, you'll play as Renato, whose parents are world renowned explorers, archeologists, and inventors that travel all over the world, uncovering the secrets of the past, bringing her with them in their expeditions. However, in their latest adventure they decide to leave her at the base camp and explore some ruins for three whole days she waits her pride hurt and bored out of her mind until she realized if they haven't returned yet something must have happened to them in a hurry she grabs her parents last invention the fro gun and heads to the ruins to rescue them and prove that she is just as capable as them in this game you'll be able to explore colorful pixelated levels that gives a breath of fresh air on the older retro style we all know and love you can find secret areas by mastering the grapple mechanics collect emblems by fulfilling level challenges and visit the hatter to trade your coins in for hats bestiary entries game art and more you can also unlock two player duels to challenge your friends all around this game looks great and i think the art style for this game fits really well and from the creators of two point hospital comes two point campus releasing on august 9th in this game you'll build your own university but with a twist if you're a fan of the sims you more than likely will love this game so be sure to check it out as opposed to your typical run of the mill college campus two point campus features things like night school that's not with a k-school not just that the classes are taking place at night time and gastronomy where students can build giant dishes for example giant pizzas you can build libraries hire your staff pick the courses and watch your campus turn into your dream get to know your students explore their individual personalities wants and needs keep them happy with club societies gigs surround them with friends help them develop relationships furnish them with pastoral care and ensure they have the right amount of excitement to develop into incredible individuals who will do the legacy of your university proud this game allows you to choose from building on simple foundations or if you're one of those people like me who like to place every single tree to make the game yours you can make this university yours however you want to play you can lay down pathways and landscape place benches fountains sculptures hedges even picket fences the only limit really is your imagination and the amount of money in your in-game bank this game honestly looks so great and i absolutely love the twist and as someone who just really likes the idea of the sims games and sim style games i think this game is is really going to be a hit. I actually can't believe this game got a remaster. Pac-Man World Repack releases August 26th. I loved Pac-Man World as a kid, so it's awesome to see them creating a remake of it. In this game, Pac-Man arrives home on his birthday to find that the ghosts have kidnapped his family and friends and ruined his party. Of course, you, as Pac-Man, set off to Ghost Island to reclaim them. The remake features improved UI, fine-tuned mechanics, and of course, updated visuals. Pac-Man World Repack allows you to dodge ghosts, solve environmental puzzles, rescue the pack fame and more this is a platforming adventure that you're sure to love butt bounce rev roll pack dot attack and hover jump to the final face off against talk man play the main adventure in quest mode a collection of 3d mazes in maze mode and the original pac-man in classic mode i know a lot of you like me are excited for this classic to be remastered and it's going to be awesome to play this game that i love as a kid and come back and be able to play it on our nintendo switch okay tiny can looks so good and it releases on august 30th developed by x ubisoft creatives who had experience working on Raymond and Rabbids games comes Tinykins. This game is a puzzle platformer where you use the creatures you collect to help you traverse through the courses. Kind of puts me in mind of Pikmin a lot actually. In this game it's the far future and Milo has rediscovered Earth. He go down in history but as he lands on the planet he encounters a problem. He is as small as a penny and everybody's gone and it's still the 90s. I mean do you need more convincing? This game looks awesome. Explore a giant house as a tiny astronaut and meet the society of insects that built a sprawling city inside. Discover the stadium in the bath, revive the nightclub inside the couch, and win big at the casino under the bed. Milo can jump, hover, and skateboard, but the true hook is the mysterious Tinykin. Hundreds of alien creatures with special powers to become ladders, build bridges, carry large objects, activate machines, and explode. My absolute favorite part of this game, aside from it having an awesome concept, is the art style. It kind of reminds me of Paper Mario, but with 3D objects in the background. I love that you're small and you're inside a house 
house. I love when games do that, and I think that they absolutely nailed the graphics and the charm on this game. So Ashley and I recently went to this arcade near our house where you can pay $15 at the door and play as many arcade games as you want all day long. To our surprise, the Switch is actually getting a game that you can actually play arcade games on as well. Arcade Paradise releases on August 11th on the Nintendo eShop and August 31st on Amazon. The actual selling point for this game, according to the trailer, is unclogging toilets. I'm not even joking. In this game, take on the role of Ashley and manage the day-to-day -day task of running the family laundry mat. Rebel against your father's wishes and create a games arcade to give the sleepy town of Grindstone something to really get excited about as you wash rags, invest the profits, and build your very own arcade paradise. I love that you start out in a laundry mat and have to work your way up to running an arcade. You can unlock up to 35 fully playable arcade games. Don't waste all your time playing the games though because there are still toilets to be cleaned and trash to be taken out. I love the concept of this game and I think they have absolutely nailed the graphics so I'm definitely excited to check it out. Be sure to check out the links below so you can get these games for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss a video. Everyone have an amazing day and God bless.